Welcome to Tinker's Lab. In this episode, I want to explain different channels of an image that you're going to be using in the GIMP. And uh, one of those is color channels. Let's go ahead and bring up the GIMP. And I will try and demonstrate here not only the color channels, but also the alpha channel. All right, so I'm going to open a couple images as layers to uh, get this concept explained. Okay, so we're going to open up two different colored eyeballs for you to see. Okay, so first we have our red eyeball. All right, a GIMP automatically creates an alpha channel or a transparency channel. Whenever you hear alpha, it means transparency. If you hear transparency, it means alpha. I mean, they're, they're synonymous with each other. They mean the same thing. So when you have more than one layer, GIMP automatically creates an alpha channel for the image, but you also have alpha channels in your layers or you don't have. You can or not you know, have alpha channels in your layers, and I'll demonstrate what I mean. But first, let's take a look at the different channels that you have in each layer. You have red, green, and blue. So whenever you hear RGB, a, a image with a color mode of RGB, which is going to be the vast majority of images you use, unless they're grayscale. When you have a grayscale image, it has a single channel called gray, grayscale. If you have an indexed image, which means it has a very finite color palette, you're going to have one channel, color channel, that's going to be indexed. But the vast majority of the images you're going to use in the GIMP are going to be RGB, red, green, and blue. And so you should always see those, those color channels in your image. So um, you can, you can um, select these color channels, you can enable and disable them. So if I select the red and I disable it, I've got what I'm seeing is a combination of just the green and the blue. And if I disable the green, then I'm just seeing a combination of the, uh, of the red and the blue. And then if I disable the blue, I'm just seeing a combination of the red and the green. Or you can you can just activate a single one so that you just see the red color channel in the image. Or you just see the green color channel. Or you just see the blue color channel. Now you can make some cool effects just playing around with the different color channels in the image. But I also want to demonstrate the alpha channel or the transparency channel. And in order for you to see the layer below it, whether you're cutting out part of the top layer or whether you're going to scale the top layer, in order to see the layer that's below it, you have to have a transparency layer to deal with. So I've got the, I've got the uh, top image, the top layer selected that has the uh, eye with the red, red iris in it. So if I go up into my ellipse tool, and you'll notice that I have my my palette right now, my, my foreground and my background. I have black selected as my foreground and white selected as my background. If I right click this layer and I go into layers and I go into transparency, you'll see that it has add alpha channel as an option. Remove alpha channel is grayed out. So what it's telling me right now is that I do not currently have an alpha channel or a transparency channel in this particular layer of the image. And so I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you do not have a transparency layer. So I'm going to use my ellipse tool here. I'm going to grab a portion of this image. I'm going to hit enter to select it and I'm going to hit my delete key. Okay, so all I'm seeing is white. I deleted that portion of the image and all I'm seeing is white. So why did that happen? It happened because that layer does not have an alpha channel or a transparency channel. And it ha I have white selected as my background. So if I remove part of the image, what it's going to do is it's going to fill it in with a, whatever color I currently have selected as my background. Okay, so I'm going to undo that. I'm going to deselect it. So if I, to demonstrate that further, if I switch this around so that white is my foreground now and black is my background, 
I'm going to grab my ellipse tool here. I'm going to grab a section of this image again. I'm going to hit enter to select it and then I'm going to delete. And now it's filling it in with black. So the portion of the image that I removed is now being filled in with black because black is now my uh, background color that I've got selected. Okay, so let me undo that, deselect it. So now to show you the difference with the, what happens with a, with a layer when you have no alpha channel or transparency channel and one that does have. So now if I right click and I go into layer and I go into transparency and I select add alpha channel. Okay, so now I should have an alpha channel in this layer. And if I right click it again and then go back into layer and go back into transparency, you'll see that add alpha channel is now grayed out and remove alpha channel is an option. So that's telling me that I do have an alpha channel in this layer. So now if I go back up to my ellipse tool and I grab a portion of this image and I hit enter to select it and then I delete that section that I've got selected. Now I'm able to see the image below it, the layer below it. So if I grab my move tool now and I select the bottom layer and I grab it, you can see that what, what you're seeing now is you're seeing the bottom layer show through the top layer because of the transparency or the alpha channel that I added to the top layer. Okay, so if I hide the bottom layer, then all you're going to see is this dark gray and light gray checkered pattern. And in GIMP and most image editing software that I have worked with, when you see this dark gray and light gray pattern here, that signifies transparency in the image. So since I'm not uh, since I've hidden the layer that's below it, you don't see that layer anymore. All you see is the part of the image that's transparent. If I re-enable that, now you see it. Now you can see the layer below again. All right, so let's let's um, let's undo that. Let's undo our our uh, removal here and deselect that. So I've 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 backed out. I've I've undone my removal of that top layer again. So if I take that layer and I move it to the bottom now so that this green layer is on the top and I right click it and I go into layer and I go into transparency it doesn't have an alpha channel, right? It doesn't have a transparency layer because the option that I have here is to add an alpha channel not remove it. So the only layer that currently has an alpha channel is the red layer that I've moved down below it. So you're going to see the exact same result. So if I go up here and I select my ellipse tool and I grab this portion of my top layer and I hit enter to select it and then I delete. All you're seeing now once again is just whatever color I have selected for the background. So I'm going to back out of that. I'm going to deselect. And now I'm going to go in and add an alpha channel to this layer. So if I go into image, or go into layer, go into transparency and add alpha channel, I've got my selection tool. I go in and I select that portion again. I hit enter to select it and I hit delete. Now you can see the red eyeball below that one. I'll select that layer, grab my move tool, and as you can see, now you can see the layer below it. And if I hide that layer, once again, all you see is transparency. So I hope that that kind of clears up alpha channels and transparency. Um, GIMP will always add an alpha channel if you have more than one layer because it's going to be required in order for you to, to, to be able to see anything in the layer below it. Even if all you do is scale the top layer, you're going to have to have that transparency channel in the image. But don't forget that your layers also need to have 
a transparency channel or an alpha channel if you're wanting to like like I did remove a section of the image so that you can see the layer below it so if all you're seeing is the background color that you've currently got selected when you delete part of the image that's telling you that you do not currently have an alpha channel either in your image if it's a single layer or in, in, a, in a single layer if you have more than one layer. You need to make sure that you add your alpha channel to all of the layers that you, that you want to do those type operations with. So I hope that clears that up a little bit, guys. That's a wrap on this episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.